Hey Capricorns and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your singles and couple love reading for April 2019. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We will uh, start with singles. We'll do past, present, future energy, foundation, and overarching energy. to see what you guys have coming in for you in the month of April. Capricorns, let's see what we got. Capricorns. All right, your first card. You know, you got two cards out. You got the moon in reverse and the nine of pentacles. Okay. All right, you guys have the Six of Wands in reverse and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Your guys' foundation is the Death in reverse and overarching energy, the Devil. Oh, my Capricorns. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm not going to lie. This is like a, a very obsessive energy. Um... Either somebody that you have broken things off with, Capricorn, is very obsessed with you, or you are obsessed with a connection that ended. Um, I'm going to pull clarifiers right away. Okay. So, in your guys' foundation card, or foundation, you guys got the card death in reverse. So, you're you're not moving forward um, after the, the loss of this relationship because it is um, in the, uh, being clarified by the Eight of Cups. So, you're not moving forward. You're not moving in the direction you're meant to be going. You're, you're meant to go through a, this deep spiritual um, rebirth, this uh, purging of energy. Um, you're... you're uh, lesson is to move forward from this emotionally uh, draining situation that you put a lot of work into. A lot of emotional um, investment went into a connection that has ended and and you're needing to go through this death process. You're needing to let it go. You're needing to um, purge out this energy of this person. If this person is the one obsessed with you, you need to, uh, to release, do a spiritual um, release to cut your or, um, energy off from this person. They're not wanting to let you go. Um, there could be some karmic ties and bonds to this person as well. Um, yeah, I'm seeing for some of you, you are trying to move forward and this person is just not letting you go. They have a, a death grip on your energy. Why is the moon here in the past? Oh, geez. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody who is very, I don't, I don't want to sound rude, but they're off their damn rocker. Um, this is a deep obsession or a deep passion for somebody like, uh, very, like a very sexual, like need for them. Um, this, I mean, you guys could have like bomb sex I, and they're like craving you, but, um, it's unhealthy with the emperor in reverse. This person got instantly, uh, clingy, instantly obsessed with you. Um, very, uh, out of balance. They just, they're very, they dominated the relationship. They controlled the relationship and, um, they did it in a not so good way. If this is you Capricorns. Um, you need to like, I don't know. <laughs> this is, this is not a good energy. You got to cut yourself off from this energy. You have to release or cut the karmic cord from this relationship because somebody's not letting you go or you're not letting somebody else go. And it's very unhealthy. Um, in your current energy, you have the nine of pentacles, which is another obsession card. I mean, he's cutting her hair, a lock of her hair in her sleep. Um, somebody could be doing like, uh, I hate to say it, but like black magic. Somebody could be doing like a tie, a bond spell, a tie and bond spell, um, trying to get you back. Uh, I don't know if that fell upward or, or in the reverse or not. So I'm going to put it back. 
Okay, yeah. Um, it's been clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. So, Capricorn, um, somebody is is obsessed with you. You are the one that is somebody's obsessed with you. Um, you may not even realize it. Like, you may not even realize what, that this person is just like... I mean, they're, they're putting a spell on you, you know? They're trying to get you back at all costs. Um, in your uh, future energy, you have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. They're trying very hard to get your attention, and you're not having it. You're just, like, whatever. Um, this At one point in time, you guys had a strong sexual connection. Um, like, they just can't shake you, Capricorn. Way too many. Why is it four of pentacles in reverse? This this relationship I don't see coming back together though. They're not going to be successful in um, getting you back. Wow, the death card again in reverse. So yeah, and the queen of rods on the bottom and the reverse. Not good energy. Okay, so most definitely you need to release. You need to purge this energy out. You need to just be done with this. You need to move on and not look back. You need to go through this transformation. Um, like I said, Capricorn, if you're the one that's doing this to somebody, you have to let go. You can't, you can't force this person to be with you. You can't make them want to be with you. Um, could be dealing with a Scorpio, but, um, or an Aries is a major arcana here, but Really, this is anybody. This is somebody that is just, if you're obsessed with the connection, if you're trying to get this person back and they're like ignoring you, let it go. Move on. Move forward. Go through this transformation. Uh, quit trying to um, hold back, hold this off. But that's for very few of you. For the majority of you, somebody is just obsessed with you. Um, they, like I said, could possibly like be trying to do binding spells. Um, there could be a karmic tie or a bond to this person. Do a release ritual to cut those karmic cords and bonds. You can find them on YouTube or Google it um, because this energy is not good for you. Um, they could also be trying to sabotage any relationship that's coming towards you. So be very selective about putting your personal business out there. Um, I do see, I mean, you are in the upright here, Capricorn, as your overarching energy. So for the majority of you, you guys have a good head on your shoulders. Like, um, you know, this connection's not good for you, but um, you need to cut the energy off completely. Um, for some of you, however, um, it is the devil. This is a karmic bond. This is somebody that you are karmically bonded to um, and you won't be able to release this bond, this tie until you go through this transformation until you start um, on your spiritual journey um, because this energy is just heavy. I'm going to have to like I'm going to have to honestly cleanse my space after this reading because energy or Capricorn you have energy around you that is not good not good at all like, it's almost like taking my breath away. Not good. Purge this energy out. Do a release ritual. And uh, don't look back. Singles. Whew. Yeah, that's not good. This person's like... I mean, I don't see them, like, hurting you. But this person's crazy. Like, this energy is absurd. Whew. Okay, sorry. All right. Capricorn couples. Capricorn couples. Most definitely have to cleanse my space. <laughs> Capricorn couples. I mean, you did the right thing, Capricorn, by cutting off this energy because it would have only got worse. Okay, Capricorn couples. Here we go. Morning couples for April. Thank you. All right. You guys got the judgment. The Knight of Swords. Hello, Mr. Kinky. The Queen of Wands in reverse. And the Five of Wands in the upright. Okay. Your guys' uh, foundation is the Empress in the reverse. And your overarching energy is the Sun in reverse. Stars in reverse and the Ten of Swords. Okay, Capricorn couples, here we go. So, 
there's something that you, the two of you wanted to create. There was something that you guys wanted to move forward and be able to, um, do together, create together. Um, and it's just not getting off the ground. It's just not, it's not moving in that direction. Um, Capricorn, for those of you, um, who are in a couple, who are in a partnership, um, you know that there's outside people. Um, you know that there is interference in this connection. You know that there's more than just you. Um, it's calling for you to to gain some confidence because the the empress in the upright is like, I'm hot shit and I know it. Um, but in the reverse, it's lacking confidence. Um, putting up with energy that you that you wouldn't if if. Um, if you had the confidence to know that how great you are, like you should, this should be in the upright because for this, this group of you, you Capricorns have like your shit together. Like there's no reason why you should feel like you have to settle for this energy. Um, because there's a lot of people in your energy as well. Why is the judgment here? Yeah. Okay. For some of you, you this this is very close to the singles reading as well. But um you're getting an aha moment uh couples. You're about ready to blow this popsicle stand because uh, right now you feel tied to this person, you feel bound to this person, you feel like you have to be with this person. Um this person is just kind of also like just this person's pissed off about something, um, and more than likely, it's because your aha moment came in the form of, I'm out of here. I am done. Like, this is not going in the direction I had envisioned. It's not going in the direction that I had hoped, and I can't do it anymore. I can't put up with, like, this, and this other person is very pissed about it, very upset, very hot-headed. Um, yeah, why is the Knight of Swords here? The Six of Pentacles in reverse. So even though the sex is like kinky, like like hot shit, um, this person is connected to somebody else. Um, for some of you, you know this. Um, you are um, the mistress and you are putting a stop to being the mistress and you're leaving and this person's pissed about it. Um, there's just, you're no longer willing to put up with somebody who... Yeah, the sex is great, but I need more than that. I need, I want a real relationship. I don't want to be your dirty little secret that you uh, throw breadcrumbs at um, to keep me around. I want the real deal. I want the whole thing. I want it all. Um, for some of you, uh, you could be the pissed off one because this person isn't moving away from a spouse like they promised you, um, keeping you in this empress uh, or mistress energy and you're pissed off because this po person promised you that they were only going to focus on you. They were going to invest in you and it's not happening. Um, so you're preparing to walk away. The queen of wands is here again in reverse. Yeah. Wow. So uh, once again, you could be the pissed off one Capricorn because um, this person isn't investing in you. This person is just like, you feel almost used. You feel like you're being used. Um, yeah. And you're just not having it anymore. So once again, you're, you're taking yourself out of this third party situation, um, because they're not leaving a family situation on the other side of it. Um, some of you, the person that you're connected with is pissed off, is hot headed, is, um, mad because, excuse me, um, because they feel like they're playing the pity card. Like you just don't understand. I can't leave my family right now. I can't, um, focus on you. I can't, I can't, I can't when really it's just, I don't want to, I don't want to leave my family situation because I'm having my cake and eating it too. And sorry that you feel like I'm not contributing to the relationship, but I don't want to financially lose out or, um, I, I don't know what to do with my family. Um, and 
they're wanting you to stay as the mistress. Uh, but I don't see it happening, Capricorn. Not if you're the one that is the third party. Now, if you, um, Capricorn, are the one that has the third party, then um, then your third party is walking out the door. Um, your uh, future card is the Five of Wands. Once again, the third party energy. Somebody's watching from afar. And whoever this person is, male or female, that's your Queen of Wands. It's pissed off. Um, why is the Five of Wands here? You really thought this person was going to create a life with you, Capricorn, and that's what is so upsetting to you. Um, if you were the third party, if you're the one that has the third party, um, you're you're really causing a lot of um, pain to this other person. Uh, the Five of Wands is being clarified by the Six of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So. Capricorn, you are, you've seen enough. You've had enough. You are moving away from this situation. You're following your intuition. You're following your guide. You, you are feeling like this person's never going to leave them. That's what you're fearing. And your inner voice is saying, you're right. Get the hell out of here. They're never going to go anywhere. They're going to continue to have their cake and eat it too if you allow it. So you are listening to your inner guide and you're moving away from this situation that um, emotionally is just you're just, you're very upset, Capricorns. Um, you really thought this person was the one. You really thought this person um, was going to deliver their promises is what I just heard. Um, and it's, and it's very um, hard for you to move away. It's very hard for you to uh, turn your back on this connection because you felt like it was just it was the real deal, but after some things are coming to light, after some things are being illuminated about what's been going on, really, um, you can't do it anymore, and you're walking away. Yeah, you're just feeling like this situation is just, I've had enough. I can't do it. I can't keep contributing um, my time, emotions, my energy into a situation that has no future, that has no success in the uh, her on the horizon. So you are moving away after um, this illumination. Um, the universe, however, is going to guide you by you listening to your inner voice and steering away from this uh, this connection. Your path is going to clearly um, that your path is going to be shown to you um, by the universe. <clears throat> If you are the one with the third party, um, your <clears throat> I'm my throat chakra is closing most definitely. Um, your third party is uh, is ending this connection for this group of you. If you are the one with um, three people, okay. Let's see what our romance angels <clears throat> have for um, our Capricorns here. Woo! I heard him flowing. Blowing out already. All right, Capricorns. Capricorn single. Okay, one more shuffle here. Capricorn singles. Okay. Wow, you got two of them, actually. All right, Capricorns. You guys got you deserve love and calling in your soulmate. So um, when you break free from this connection that is just obsessed with you, um, when you clear your energy of that person um, or the situation, however it fits, um, continue to do your affirmations, um, your prayers, your visualizations, because you are moving in the right direction. You are calling in a true soulmate um, because you do deserve love. Um, the person that you were connecting with before um, was not loving you in the right way. Yeah, and you're and you are most definitely breaking free from um, that that connection. It's just not what you wanted. It, it's not forming in the way that you had hoped. Um, I was calling in your soulmate here. Thank you. Um, your soulmate's going to come in very fast, uh, possibly an air sign. Um, but this person is coming in very fast. This person is going to speak the truth. Um, 
walk the truth. This person is very good for you. A very good soulmate connection. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, heavy, heavy, uh, uh, Aquarius. So, um, that is for you Capricorn singles. Let's go for you Capricorn couples. Well, that was quick. Okay. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Okay. It's being clarified with the Six of Cups. So uh, this person is... They're making empty promises with the Six of Cups. They're promising you um, the world and they're delivering you uh, nothing. Deception. Um, this is also the energy of um, like you You kept thinking about the good times. You kept hoping that those good times are going to return. Um, thinking about how it was in the past, how all the promises that they made, thinking that it was you know going to gonna move in that direction with it in the reverse Um the, the promises are empty. So it is cautioning you to be careful. There is somebody in your energy that is not telling you the truth, that is not um, being their true self and uh, is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So just be cautious of that uh, Capricorn couples. All right, guys. I send you all the healing love and light that I possibly can. I hope you guys have a good April and I will see you guys next time. God bless.